Hello everyone, I have this idea for side chaining. came to me the other day while I was given a golf lesson where I do all my best music thinking. Um, uh, you know how you traditionally side chain against your kick that you're using in the track so that the kick stands out and the other elements are ducked under the kick. Um, but sometimes, I'm sure you've all experienced it, I know I have, where you're trying to sidechain a certain synth or a loop or any, any sound, and no matter how much you play with the attack, the release, and the threshold, you can never get it to sound exactly the way you want it to, whether it's, you know, your sidechaining's always too long and too big or, you know, something like that. Um, so, I thought of doing it this way. Now, I probably, I, of course, someone's probably already doing this, or something, something similar, but I haven't read about it, and I haven't heard about it, um, it just came to me, about potentially using different samples or different sounds or different sources to trigger the compressor, not just your standard kick that you're using in your track. So for example here, um, in these three samplers with the outputs turned off, by simply going, clicking on it, going down here, and clicking on no output. I've got a, uh, another kick, not the one I'm using in this loop, a closed hat, okay, so a really short, quick sound, and a uh, bit of percussion, I think it was uh, it was like a random hit on like a, maybe a tom or like a, a rim or something like that, it was just slightly different. So, um, yeah, the, the, the idea was that when whenever you make a new sound, and you're trying to fit it into your loop, fit it into your song, you would then have the option, however, you know, whichever computer program you're using, you would then have the option to to choose which one you think actually fits best. I thought that was pr quite a good idea, and I might start doing it in some of my tracks. Instead of just having the one, you know, here you go, audio one, kick and track, or whatever, a, a different, you know, the, the same one duplicated. Instead of having just the one option, of having three or four different options to sidechain against something different. Um, yeah, so, I mean, here's just something I made up in 10 seconds, and, uh, oopsies, this is with the compressor to off, so it's going to sound not so good, because there's no side chaining going on, but this is what it is at the moment. <laughs> Presser now on this channel. I would always in the past have gone to just the, using the kick that's in the track. Um, well, I, I'd, I'd use, actually use a copy of it with the output turned off, but just for this example, I'd use the, you know I'd use the kick that I'm using in the track to side chain, and it would be something like this. Et something like that, but. You know, I think it could be good if you could then go in here and maybe choose bus two, and I've written over here closed hat, bus two. Okay, so now side chaining, uh, side chaining the synth would be a closed hat, not the kick. So it would give it a different sound because you know the the, the sound of a closed hat is so much quicker, um, snappier than a kick. Um, something like this. Something like that, and then of course you could try the percussion three. Um, I'm not saying, see the other thing is, you know, say I've got a pad, or say I've got a drum loop, or anything, something else, I'm on a side chain. Each each of these different samples here, a kick, a closed hat, or a percussion, each of them might react differently with whatever it is I'm trying to sidechain. And I don't know, you, you might get better results. This is just the first time I've had a play with it. But with most things, you know, I like to share them with you guys, and I just had this thought that it could be good. I don't know if you guys want to play with it as well and tell me what you think. Could be shit. Could be a stupid idea. But... I just thought it might be good to have the option of side chaining it to something different other than the kick that you're using in the track. Um, just because it gives you more option, 
you can play with it more and it's like different things might work better on different synths whatever yeah just a, a thought but um yeah if you if you whatever if you thought that was a good idea or you thought it was a silly idea just let me know thanks guys